Alrighty, this is the 2004 R6. Well, this is the engine to a 2004 R6. And today, we're going to take this engine apart. Well, parts of the engine, specifically the cylinder head, and we're going to remove the throttle bodies. In fact, we're almost done with that. Um, but with all these little, these little um, screws loosened, what we're going to do is we're just going to pry this away this part of the throttle body away. We're going to take this carefully up and try and push our way up. It is giving way a little bit and it's going to be hard. This has been on this bike for 14 years so it's not going to be easy. Um, and A lot of times they're like that. They're pretty on. They're pretty good. Might have to loosen these screws a little bit more. Um, but essentially we're just going to kind of pry that away from the throttle body. Uh, I'm sorry, away from the engine and as we find any more um, hoses we'll label and disconnect them. Alrighty, so we got the throttle bodies off. Just like I said, you just undo these four clamps right here and you just rock it back and forth and it should pull up just like the airbox. Alright, so we went and took off all of our little clamps to reuse for the next uh, cylinder head. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take our vacuum pump connectors off for the, um, the radiator. Next, you want to go ahead and remove your coils. And we've loosened our, our vacuum lines. Now we're going to take these hoses off and move this vacuum assembly right out of the way. Go ahead and take your oil temperature sensor out, keep your screw on it, we'll put some tape on it, label it, put it off to the side, just in case the one on the new cylinder head doesn't work or has a problem with it. Alrighty, so we went ahead, we took our motor mounts off, and now we're just gonna undo the valve cover bolts. Now you wanna do these, um, you wanna loosen them a half turn at a time, and then get them all loose, and then after that it can just pop right off. You just unscrew them all once they're all loose. And they are an Allen key. All right, so you then just pry your valve cover right off. And you get your spark plugs out. How good do they look? Oh, wow, they do. They look fantastic. I mean, they're only, you know, seven months old. They only burned a thousand miles. It's still pretty good, though. Good to know it's burning clean. So now we're going to rotate the engine to top dead center. So we're taking the oil pump cover bolts off before we do anything more up here and we're going to go ahead and rotate it up top dead center that way when we put everything back together we don't have to bother doing that it will already be there for us okay all right so we, t we pulled our oil pickup cover off and you can see your oil pump right here got a little bit of oil pump come from the oil cooler there's still oil in it, so it looks good. Everything looks pretty nice. Um, everything looks to be in good condition. And this is how you time it. You got this little mark right here where the two cases meet. Where your, you know, the bottom half of your crankcase and then the top half of your crankcase meets. And you got a little mark right here. It's a T, and that means top dead center. So you're gonna rotate it until that T lines perfectly up with that. And that's how you know your cylinders are at top dead center so that you can time and match your cams up here to meet them. Now we're gonna go ahead and take our cam chain tensioner off. These two Allen bolts right here. All right, so now we're taking off our little valve cover brackets and all you wanna do is you just wanna break them loose evenly and at the same time so that all the force on these cams is proportional and even. So you see how we're not just undoing each bolt, we're doing quarter turn at a time just like so. Once they're loose, you can just take them on out. Alrighty, so once you got all your bolts loose to the point where the cams are moving around, you can just go ahead and take them all out, put them aside in a bag. You just will give you a nice chance to inspect the wear. Uh, this one for 38,000 miles, it's pretty freaking good. I mean, they look pristine. They look beautiful. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and set the bolts aside and then we'll be able to get to the bolts that hold the um, cylinder head in place on top of the crank. Now you just remove your, your chain cam tensioner right there and you'll be able to pull the chain up and move that first cam out of the way and now we're working on the second one. Alright so we got everything off. Now what we're going to do is each of these little bolts, there's a socket, has got to go. So you got about 12 of these bolts and you got a diagram. We're going to take it apart just like the diagram says. Now you got to be careful. This is your exhaust, or I'm sorry, intake 
and there's your intake. So we're actually doing this upside down. So you should be looking at it exactly like that. So we're gonna start with number one, then two, and so forth. Starting to get a number one. Is that two? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's why you do that. All right, Upper right three. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then four's over mm -hmm. here, right? Yeah, I'm getting this now. And, and up, then up, straight up. Oh, five up here. It kind of makes sense if once you're, you don't realize it until you're doing it. Down and right. Down over here. Mm -hmm. You've got another one right here. Mm -hmm. Up here. Lower left. Mm -hmm. It's and getting above it. Loose. And down, and down here. Yeah. Like taking a, a rim off of your. Now we're gonna get 11 and 12, which are these two bolts right here. Again, you're just gonna loosen them. They're an Allen key. You're just gonna break them loose and then a quarter to a half a turn. All right, so now we got all of our bolts done out. You can see all the way down through. And don't forget these two on the side. And now we're just gonna very carefully there it goes. All right, so we're looking at these pistons. The pistons look pretty good. All the you can see all the cross hatching in there. There's no serious score marks. There is.